Find me a great leader and I will show you Oni of Ife. Oni of Ife holds the show and, and canvas for a united Yoruba land. Because of recent, there have been a lot of disunity. Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite baby girl, Zobs and it's on the microphone. If you're new to my channel, gay gay, I appreciate you. To my returning subscribers, so thank you so, so much. The only of Ife, Oba, Adeye, Ye, Ogunse, Ojaja, the second, play host to the newly and uh, installed Shenwu of Ogbomoshon, Oba Gandhi Olaoye Orumo Gege the third calling for a united nation and one a united Yoruba nation and one Nigeria only made the call while hosting Shenwu of Bomoso in his Asian Ile Odua Palace Ile Ife. In his welcome address, Oba Ogomose described Shenwu ascension to the throne of his forefather as the violin Oden, the way his own too, that means the, the way his own only of Ife was also divinely ordained. You understand? According to the Oni, Ogbomo Ogbomo is the ancient city in Yoruba land with immeasurable economic and historical significance. I remember this is what he said. I remember about six years ago while we met in the U.S. During your days as a clergyman, everyone around you testified to your uprightness and just nation, just nature. These are the virtues that have that have given me confidence that your emergence as the Shenwu of Ogbomosho will be beneficial to the Asian city. Oni said, "Oba Ogunusi advocates for unity in the country." particularly in Yoruba nation. He commended traditional rulers nationwide for their efforts in ensuring that the country remain united for the betterment of all. Earlier in his address, Oba Olaoye described the Oni as a relying point for all royal fathers, particularly those of Yoruba origin. Long before I ascend this throne, I have always admired the conduct of the Oni of Ife and I cannot but say that he has a lot to teach all Yoruba across the Yoruba nation. I, I'm happy to have witnessed the huge cultural display here today because I believe this cannot be fun elsewhere. We have ours as Ogbomosho and your presentation of this prestigious Yoruba culture is a motivation for us even to more than... I know you can do more than this, but regards, the traditional ruler said that they often wonder at times how the Oni does everything so easily, applauding his generosity. You people have seen, KBAC is such a generous man, such a kind-hearted man, and that is why I see some people have taken him from granted, because he's so kind, he's so generous, and he's so soft. And I love the fact that he's calling for unity in Yoruba land because right now we read unity. There has been a lot of disunity. And let me tell you guys, KBSC is working. You people might not be seeing it, but he's working on the ground. He's working so hard. Imagine if KBSC is not working. A lot of things would have spoiled when it comes to the leadership of Yoruba kingdom. See, anybody they ordain a leader, a king in Yoruba land that must come and pay homage to KBSC because he's a first class monarch. He is a first class monarch. You can't take that away from him. And for the fact that he's well traveled, he's well enlightened, and that is what he will even make it the best. Long live Kabiesi, long live Ogbomosho, long live the new Easter King, and long live our Queen Naomi that is coming back to the palace, and long live all the Oloris and everybody that is doing good for the Yoruba nation. See you guys later. Do well to subscribe, like, comment. Peace out.